Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, first, I just want to uh, start off by saying Happy New Year to everyone. It is now 2020, the end of the decade. Kind of sad, but at the same time, kind of happy. So, yeah, but today's video, we're going to be showing you guys, or I'm going to be showing you guys how to download songs uh, from YouTube or um, online into your Launchpad or Launchpad Pro, depending on which one you have. And if you guys don't know what a Launchpad is, it's basically a um, 8x8 kind of arrangement of buttons, and then each button has its own uh sound and then when pressed in a certain pattern they make like you know a full song and I'm sure you guys have seen them they look kinda like this um so yeah a lot of people this is actually very difficult um if you don't know really what you're doing if you just got the launch path thinking like oh you're gonna be able to play songs it's not really how it works so basically you guys have the launch pad right you plug in your computer you download uh, Ableton or Ableton live 10 light which is right here we're gonna open that up while I continue to talk um one other thing that I found out with the launch pad if you guys move it at all while it's plugged in it will stop working so that's just a little you know like tip because I've had that happen to me many times and I thought it was broke to be honest but yeah so first what you're gonna do we're gonna show you guys how to download faded we're gonna first go to this video because it says is uh it in it has a project file so basically, we're gonna press the video, and then we're gonna go down to this uh, the uh, uh, description project file right here. We're gonna open that. I already did this, and then I downloaded it. Uh, uh, just one other uh, thing to notice: while you're downloading a a bunch of these um, projects, there are a lot of like scams or like fake things like this is like an ad right here so make sure you just press down this file close the tab and then it should pop up down here I already did it so I'm not gonna do it again but once you have that it should go to your downloads which is right here or you'll see it in your quick access which are like these as you can see so first what you're gonna do you're gonna go to documents and create a new folder up here called projects or whatever you want to do it once again I already have it so I'm not gonna do it but that's what you're gonna want to do first which is right here next you guys are gonna go to your downloads um you guys are gonna drag here I'll show you guys just for an example see so faded you guys are gonna drag it into documents and then you're gonna drag it again into projects once again it's already in there so it's not gonna um do anything and then the second part it should look like this right but then that the program will not recognize that so you guys are gonna have to do one more step uh, step first you guys are gonna uh, you guys are gonna search up 7-zip download which is right here as you can see uh, you guys are gonna go to download this is a trusted site it's used by many people and you need it for this type of um, format to convert it so you could put it into the Ableton so first you're gonna do the 64 bit for Windows I, once again I already did it and then once that is downloaded you guys are gonna set it up do whatever like press like install and then once you right click on one of these so alone right it should say 7 zip and once it's in your uh, projects folder you could right click it do 7-zip and do extract here once you press that it's gonna give you like one of these folders which um, is a good that's what you need for the um, program to recognize it so yeah next you're gonna go into the program right here which is the Ableton or however you pronounce it which comes with the launch pad next you're gonna go into add folder you're gonna go into this PC or documents I'm pretty sure it's in you're gonna open the projects folder once again I already did so I'm not gonna do it and then it should pop up right here once you have projects uh, th all your stuff in that folder should pop up as you can see right here and then when you want to open a project uh, you double click it until you see the ALS because that's the conversion or that's the uh, file type that the project or the software has like recognizes so then you double click it it will take a little bit or at least for my computer it will take a little bit 
to open up. So once it opens up, uh, your screen should look like this, and the launch pad should have like a red low uh, row of lights down like the left side, if that makes sense. And then the top should be somewhat lit up, like the buttons at the top. And then what you're gonna, it's kind of hard to explain without uh, showing, but hopefully you guys uh, do get what I mean. So, but next you're gonna press user one on your launch pad, which is at the top. It should be glowing purple, I believe. Um, if it is, that means it's working. Once you press uh, user one, you can see once you press the buttons, they'll start making sound and glowing and all that. But one other thing that you might run into, kind of like a troubleshooting video as well, um, this right here, this should be like the exact, um, like, in, in, like, stuff like that. I don't know exactly what all this means, but just try to copy it, uh, if yours does not look the same, because mine is working perfectly right now. Also, this is kind of like the, it says down here, the switch to enable, um, like a track. So basically, if you press that on, as you can see, there's a bunch of, um, like notes here. So when you press that and then press your launch pad, all the buttons will glow and um, make sound. So make sure that's on. One last thing, if you go into options and then preferences down here, or you can press control plus, I believe. Um, this is very, very, very important. Make sure you go to, I believe it is in, where is it? right here um link midi this should also try to copy all of this this should all be the launch pad because obviously you're using the launch pad so the control server should be launch pad i have the mk2 model um i don't know which one you guys have if you have the pro then you would press obviously pro you would just press that and press the pro which is right here or whatever model you have and then you would put that for all three because the inputs the launch pad the outputs the launch pad and then for this you would turn all these on sync track and remote and then these two on so nothing should be off uh in this which is also very important and if you guys have any questions if your launch pad isn't working or you guys want to see how to download different songs or certain songs make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below i will uh most likely answer it and help you guys out if you guys did enjoy the video Make sure you guys smack that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.